We've been fostering for about three years. We never thought when we rescued Zoe that three years later we'd have had mm, probably maybe up to 70, 80 fosters through our home. There's been many times we've had 10, 11 dogs in the house at one time. I never, ever thought that we would be able to handle that. Life is short. You know, we were like, let's do something that can make a difference in the world. Dog we're foster-based. We foster we were small. We're about 300 dogs a year. And uh, we mostly do puppies. We keep them until they're adopted. And if that takes a year, we have them for a year. Never Our happens. best friends say to us, you always say you're taking a break from fostering, and then... Where'd that dog come from? Where'd that dog Where'd come from? Where'd from? We started out with Zoe from Milo's. She was in the crate, traumatized, curled up on a ball. So we're like, this dog has been through too much. And we took her and that started our journey with Milo's rescue. And then it was like, well, why don't you try and foster one litter? Oh, sure, we'll do one. <laughs> <laughs> Now that we've been doing it for several years, I realize how green we really were. You know, you kind of feel stupid that you didn't know these things, but that's how you learn. We've met a lot of nice people through Milo's and through rescuing in general, really, and it's like they've helped. We'll see people on the camera, uh, who's on our driveway? Oh, look, they left dropped off a crate, a bag of linens. But we never refuse anything because if we can't use it, somebody else can. We are foster based, so we don't have a location. Dogs are not in a kennel. So when you get your puppy from us, they've basically been socialized. A donation is $400 for a puppy. The dogs cost us $535 each on average. So every dog we're losing money, basically. Many times we use our own money. We buy the dog food ourselves. We buy the supplies ourselves. Everything is donation and that family says, oh, I came to see Henry, and you pick up Henry, and you give them Henry, and Henry melts into them. You're like, yeah, we're, this, is, this is why we do it. I kiss them as they leave and tell them, this is your family, this is your home, they might change your name, it's gonna be okay, don't be scared. This is, this is, what, what's, is what we've done this for, be good. And all of a sudden I get a text and it's a picture of a prior foster, and I'm just like, oh, it just made my day. If you've never fostered before, I would say go small. <laughs> Don't do too many at one time. And realize it's life changing. It is life changing. I no longer have an office. Yeah. It's a Milo satellite office. It's piled up with food, with supplies. You have to adapt to whatever comes your way. It's like having a baby. You get no sleep, your life changes. Everything's about the baby. That's basically what it becomes. Um, when do you... yeah, that's Amber's. I'm dying bark. <laughs> I think our thing now in the future is to try and save as many dogs locally. Animals like Benito with the broken leg, he would have been euthanized if, if a rescue hadn't taken him just for having a broken leg. He's a puppy. When you first meet someone, they'll say, what do you do? I mean, yes, we have jobs, but, but no, well, what do we do? We rescue dogs, that's what we do.